Hello everyone, a little quick update on the uh, CRP4848 build. Um, had gone through and had checked out the rest of the Z-axis. The uh, steel plate measuring from the front up and down to get uh, kind of you know forward and backward movement uh, was pretty accurate uh, within a thousandths, um, five inches worth of travel. So I didn't really do any adjustments there. I measured off the side of the spindle housing here up and down vertically and that was at about five or six thousand so I just undid my bolts here uh, that I have for this plate that I made up and then just used a brass hammer and tapped it until I got it aligned so now I'm within vertically here um, it's within a thousand it's up and down uh, travel now the other thing that I went ahead and since I had this kind of all set up and configured here is figured I'd check out my TIR on my spindle. I've got a quarter inch Techniques uh, ER20 collet in here. Um, then I have a precision ground solid carbide quarter inch diameter end mill. Uh, so I got a nice uh, precision ground shank hanging in there. And you can see just to show you that I do have the indicator on there see the indicator moving back and forth. No, it's pretty much set it to zero. Okay, so it's set to zero. And now I'll go ahead and turn the spindle on and you can see how much run out that I have. And as you can see there's hardly any movement whatsoever with that so I'd say my TIR with the tool in the collet in the spindle is less than two tenths. Uh, each line on that indicator is five tenths. It barely even moves, so I'd say it's not even a tenth, probably by the looks of it. So I'm very pleased with that. Should have some good accuracy out of this spindle for when we start cutting here. So here's a quick update. Uh, thanks for watching.